The Mortal Kombat reboot is filled with powerful fighters from the video games, but Scorpion might be the strongest of all. Unlike his rival Sub-Zero, Scorpion possessed no supernatural abilities in life. However, after being resurrected from the dead by his descendant Cole Young, the ninja was able to harness incredible abilities, including power over fire. Those abilities, combined with his prior skill as a warrior, made him strong enough to go head-to-head -head with Sub-Zero. In life, Hanzo Hasashi was a renowned ninja of the Shirai Ryu clan. His skill in battle was legendary, and he was proficient in both hand-to-hand -hand combat and with various weapons, including the katana and kunai. Unfortunately, his work attracted the ire of the Chinese Lin Kuei clan of assassins, leading to a deadly confrontation with the Lin Kuei's Bai Han, who would become Sub-Zero. Hanzo's soul refused to rest, however, and it dwelt for centuries in the Netherum, the deepest part of hell, gaining power and The video game version of Mortal Kombat Scorpion gains his supernatural powers from the Netherum sorcerer Quan Kai, who resurrects Scorpion as a wraith to exact vengeance on Bai Han. Quan Kai manipulates Scorpion, however, using him as a weapon for his own nefarious ends. The Mortal Kombat movie goes a slightly different direction, as Scorpion is brought back by Cole, rather than by Quan Kai. By his own words, the film Scorpion conquered the fires of hell by his own power, rather than by the power of a sorcerer. How does that work? It's possible that Hanzo's arcana reacted to the Netherum over time, granting him power over fire. It's also possible that, since he was a spirit and not a mortal man any longer, Scorpion could have found an alternate method of harnessing the Netherum's magic. Either way, the results speak for themselves. Scorpion's victory over Sub-Zero is proof of his power. Still, even in that climactic battle, Scorpion primarily uses non-supernatural skills to beat his rival. His swordsmanship, martial arts prowess, physical strength, and ingenuity are the tools that truly lead him to victory, assets he acquired through his work with the Shirai Ryu, not from the Netherum. His skill as a fighter shows why the Lin Kuei was so bent on his erasure, though ultimately Hanzo has the last laugh. If Bai Han returns in the next Mortal Kombat movie as the shadowy noob Sabat, however, Scorpion might have his work cut out for him in their rematch.